Last week, the Ontario government introduced a sweeping three-year, $41 million plan to fight sexual violence, including a media blitz highlighting females being sexually harassed and abused. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> Thanks for minding your own business. Come on, show me the good ones. Thanks for not telling my girlfriend. Send that to me. Hi! Thanks for not telling anyone. When you do nothing, you're helping him. But when you do something, you help her. But what about the often not spoken about victims? Males. Well, that's exactly what the Canadian Association for Equality wants to draw attention to, starting with their new billboard right behind me here in downtown Toronto. For more on this, Justin Trottier, the spokesperson for the Canadian Association for Equality, joins me. Thank you. It's a pleasure. So what sparked this campaign? Well, we really wanted to expand our conversation about domestic violence and sexual exploitation. We, we feel that it's important that we include all victims, that all victims get the support that they need. Mm -hmm. Even victims who don't necessarily look like our stereotype of what a victim is supposed to be. So we're talking about male victims of female perpetrated violence. We're also talking about gay and lesbian victims because in gay and lesbian relationships, studies show that there's a comparable level of intimate partner violence as in heterosexual relationships. So that's what concerns us, is bringing a, or broadening this conversation about domestic violence. Sure, and the billboard behind us says that half of domestic violence victims are male. Yes. So if the number is that large, how come they're being ignored so much, as opposed to female victims? So where we get that half of victims are men, that statistic, that's from the Statistics Canada 2009 survey, which asks all Canadian households to fill in these surveys and what they found was that 6% of men and 6.4% of women, very similar figures, reported having been in an abusive or violent relationship within the previous five years. That's quite different though from the rates of police reporting. We know that only about 5% of actual incidents of violence get reported. We also know that men are far less likely to report and if they do, that they're up against a rather biased institutional system Police are actually instructed when they enter a domestic abuse situation, remove the man, he's far more likely to be the perpetrator, leave the woman. In some cases, they'll even leave a violent and abusive mother with a child mm -hmm. out of fear of separating a mother from her child. Um, so the, there are institutional biases which affect whether or not men actually seek out support. We're trying to have this conversation so that men can voice that in fact they are victims and that they do need the same levels of protection. So what does the association hope to get out of this campaign? Well, the first step is getting men to step up. Mm -hmm. um, just as women did, you know, 40, 50 years ago, um, before that time, there were very few of any shelters for abused women. People saw domestic violence against women as a private issue that didn't concern the public. All of that changed because women were courageous. They got together with each other for peer support. Then they went out into the public square and they demanded that this issue be taken seriously. Mm -hmm. We think we need to follow the same path. That when it comes to male victims, men are roughly where women were 40, 50 years ago before that movement took action. And how has the response been? You put this billboard up yesterday. How has it been so yeah, it's far? It's hard to imagine. It's only been 24 hours. Right. The response has been overwhelming. Of course, there has been a fair share of, of criticism, of, of you know, critical, challenging questions, and we're, you know, we're very happy to address those. It is a shocking statement that half of victims are men. Mm -hmm. What I think is even more shocking is that people are shocked by that, that there's so little public awareness. And what I'm really quite, um, quite startled by when I did my own survey was that there's so little out there for men. In Toronto, there isn't any domestic abuse shelters for men. All across Canada, there is precisely one agency, it's in Winnipeg, set up for domestic, male domestic abuse victims. It has four beds. Those four beds are always in use, which shows that there actually are male victims. It also demonstrates, unfortunately, that there isn't nearly enough for these people. So are there any plans to expand this campaign, maybe outside of Ontario? Absolutely. This is part of a long-term coordinated campaign. We're going to explore a number of men's issues, starting with domestic violence against men. There will be other issues. And if we get you know, public support, donor support, 
especially if we get support from other cities, then we will be moving the campaign to other municipalities across Canada. Great. Well, we'll be sure to follow that on the rebel.media. And thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate that. Thank you.